Okay, so the next item that I'm going to show you how to calculate is range. And because I want you to be a problem solver, I would like you to take some time and try and solve this on your own. So you might want to pause the video here and attempt to solve it on your own to learn those problem solving skills. Okay, resuming here. Um, this is what I would do if I were solving range. The reason we need to use the problem solving skills is because Google Sheets does not include a predefined function for range. If we go to insert and we go to function, you'll see there's no range listed here. You can even click on more you'll find there is no range listed here. If I wanted to search this really fit, really fast, okay, if I just press Control F and type in range, I'm searching this uh, spreadsheet. You can see range appears 94 times on here, but if you were to look at each one, you'll see that none of them are the actual function, okay? They're all talking about something that a function is performing. So how do we find the range? To find the range, we go to Google and we type in, let's type in calculate range in Google Sheets. Okay, that's what we wanna do. We wanna calculate the range in Google Sheets. So we we're typing that into Google and we press search and there is a top response. Okay, the top response when we search Google says, how do I find the range of values in Google Sheets? So we click on that. And when we scroll down, um, we, we see at the bottom, okay, there's an answer. Now, what I want you to understand, guys, is that in an online forum, which is what Stack Overflow essentially is, the most recent responses are found at the bottom. So I typically will scroll to the bottom and look for the answer there, or I will look at the top. Okay, so I can see down at the bottom here, there's this nice formula where somebody is saying, I solved this with this formula. So I'm gonna highlight that formula. I'm going to copy it and I'm gonna paste it into the range. So I paste it into the range here. And when I paste this into the range, I see that I do not have the correct range. We know that range is the highest value subtracted from the lowest value. Our highest value is 29 from flight one through flight 10. Our highest value was 29. Our lowest value is nine. So the range would actually be 20, but it's telling me it's 162. That's obviously incorrect. So I need to click and look at this formula. And when I do that, I see, oh, it's pulling from A5. We want it to pull from J7 in my case, because that's where my data starts for flight one, J7. So I'm going to type in J7. And then my flight 10 data ends on T7. So I'm gonna type in T7. And now, that's for calculating the max, but to calculate the min, we do the same thing. So I'm just gonna copy this with a highlight and control C, and then I'm gonna select those cells, the cell range of A5 through A300, and I'm gonna paste, control V. And when I do that, okay, I press enter, and it automatically now calculates the range. And so now in Google Sheets, we can grab hold of this little blue square in the lower right-hand corner. And if we drag this down to the bottom of our sheet, 
Google will automatically update the formula and calculate the range for each of these cells. So that is how you can calculate range using a <clears throat> couple different functions. But I showed you the problem solving steps that I would take. I used research. I used the internet. I typed in calculate range in Google Sheets. And this was the first answer that came up. Okay. We substituted our own range of cells in this formula. And that is the solution.